Okay, so I wanted to talk about how I have been lighting my unelectrified storage unit and just kind of walk through a progression of products that seem to work well and what I ended up, which is one of these Blue Yeti portable battery generators or, you know, really a battery pack with an inverter built into it. So starting out, um, I already had one of these Braun under the hood work lights for vehicles and you can either hang it from the very top or you can actually pull up both sides and they have a bungee with a hook on it. And they also do have magnets. Uh, so you could either hang it horizontally or just have it laying down. A newer unit like this, because it's mostly galvanized or silver color with a white top, it's going to light up pretty well. H having the dispersion isn't a big deal for me. But the one issue I had with that light is it's very hard to know when the battery is about to run out. Now, I already had a Milwaukee version of that, and what I like about these is not only can you replace the battery very easily, but it also will tell you with some sort of a sensor, so you can get an idea of when the battery is going to go out. Very comparable light, although that one runs somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks, and the Milwaukee is probably going to be about 100 by the time you get a battery for it. But then what I started thinking about is I could just mount an LED work light up in here and you know that there's nothing against it in this type of a storage unit as long as you're not running off of some sort of external extension cord to their power and most of their systems are going to be talking about you know not doing automotive work or having flammables having generators i guess in theory this is considered a solar generator but it's really a battery pack and i've had no issues using it the particular one is pretty low output but you know a single shop light LED it runs around 40 watts I seem to get about seven hours out of this thing which for me is more than a week's worth of use and I was able to just you know mount a single one up I got it mounted on strut clamps no problems whatsoever nice and high uh, this is a 10 by 30 unit a single shop light like that seems to draw around 40 42 watts no problem lighting the whole unit up well enough for uh, at least what I was using it for. Now I did try and use just a normal computer UPS but it was a non sine wave so just a modified sign and I just had issues with this particular light flickering too much but that also worked um, but anything lead acid you're only going to get like maybe 40 minutes out of obviously depending on the size. I also played around with lithium iron phosphate battery in there um, but the particular UPS I had you would get below the minimum range and then the battery BMS would turn off. Uh, for me, this thing's around 200 bucks. Been really the perfect solution for something like this. Completely in compliance with the, the rules of a unit. You know, the nicer storage units typically aren't going to have any sort of internal lighting because they want people stealing power off of it and they don't have any outlets around. So you, once it gets dark out, you're pretty dim in these types of things. Just getting some sort of efficient LED shop light, hooking it up to really any sort of solar battery generator it's an awesome option and again this particular one the blue yeti it's fairly new eb3a i seem to get around six seven hours with it and any of these are going to be able to give you a general idea the charge state and you can always just charge it off your vehicle you know too it's so just keep it in your vehicle charging while it's on. With something like this where you can actually get an idea of your battery life, man, it's it's awesome. And with a low draw like this, they last quite a long time. On You could probably get a generic version of this for around 150 bucks. So if you're looking for a good option to light a larger high ceiling unit like this, yeah, check out one of these solar generators. Just don't use the word generator. It's a battery bank, right?